Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Uh, my name is Trina. I am from Andhra Pradesh. I recently graduated from Babatla Engineering College in the stream of Bachelor's of Technology in the stream of Information Technology mm. uh, with the aggregation of 81% in the year 2024. After that, I have joined in VQ and then I trained on skills like or Java, SQL and uh, JavaScript. Tell me about SQL. Uh, uh, SQL is stands for a structured query language which mm. is used to manipulate the database I like doing updates and deletes from it. Mm. So we can insert DDL and DML. A DDL means data definition language. Language. In DDL, we have some subparts like a create, insert, a delete, and update. Okay. A DML means data manipulation language. In data manipulation language, you have select, insert, delete, and update. Whereas okay. in DDL, we have create, uh, alter, and uh, a drop truncate. Okay. Explain what encapsulation. So encapsulation means uh, binding the data or data fields with related code functionalities is called encapsulation. In encapsulation, uh, we have data hiding and abstraction concepts. Or uh, data hiding means how we uh, we will hide data hide uh, by using private access modifier. We will hide the data. So abstraction means hiding the functionalities from the other users, which is not uh, which is helpful to store the data. Store the data, hiding the data, or hiding the implementation. So hiding the implementation. Okay. Good. So how you achieve that abstraction? For achieving the abstraction, we have two parts. That is abstract keyword and interface. Okay. Tell me the difference between interface and abstract. So abstract is a keyword. Uh, by using abstract, we can partially yeah, partially get the abstraction that is zero to hundred uh, percent. Whereas interface, we can achieve the abstraction with hundred percent. In abstract class, if I don't have an abstract method is it fine yes sir okay in my class there is a abstract method then my class is not a abstract is it fine no sir okay the class contains abstract method the class should have abstract key. okay good can you tell me one abstract class which you use so one abstract class which i used is runnable runnable, runnable. is a abstract class so runnable is a, a functional class. class abstract class no you didn't remember okay tell me about the difference between finally final finalize a final is given to the a final is a keyword which is given to the variables and methods a very for variables is declared as a final we cannot change the data if final keyword is used to the methods we cannot overwrite the data a finally is a block where all the closing statements are written in the finally block uh, which type which of comes closing in, statements you've written in finally like block? scanner mm -hmm. uh, yeah, c.close mm -hmm. uh, when, uh, when the file is open for closing that file uh, we will write all the closing statements in the finally block uh, whereas finalize is a method uh, which comes in the gc method uh, what uh, is garbage call, collection a uh, garbage collection means all the unused or uh, run preference variables are uh, gathered in the uh, garbage collector we collect all all the refreshed and unused variables uh, by variables. using system dot gc internally gc method we call finalized method that will be executed. how the objects are eligible for garbage uh, when the object is declared as a null uh, then it is uh, said to be as a unused reference variable so then the functionally what else uh, when we declare suppose uh, string s is equal to null hmm. uh, then it uh, s is an unused reference variable also it is collected by the garbage collector. okay so tell me comparable versus comparator uh, comparable uh, comparable and comparator are both are functional methods. Uh, with comparable having a uh, compare method uh, with comparator having compared to method what is the purpose of it uh, for comparing the objects uh, they will return minus one zero and one also when comparable is used for uh, the customized sorting order uh, comparing two uh, numbers we will get minus one zero or one mm. uh, based on that the sorting order will be displayed okay so what is the difference between arrays versus collections uh, sorry, arrays having fixed memory uh, whereas collection having dynamic memory mm -hmm. that means memory size is growing so collect arrays having uh, uh, when coming to the memory point of view, we use collections. Uh, when coming to performance point of view, we use array. So array has uh, collection has predefined inbuilt methods, uh, whereas array had uh, array does not have predefined methods. Good. Yes. Technically, you are good. Yeah. Little bit of confidence. So you did a good job.